I hear sirens. I couldn't move my body. It's pitch black in front of me. What's going on? Am I dead? I'm in a hospital. I was lying in bed. I can't remember a thing. I think it's amnesia. I've heard of that. There's a girl sitting right next to me. Teacup is sitting on a nearby table. Did she put it there in front of me? I wonder what's in it. Alright guys, so welcome to what's probably the final part of this game. Cafe Latte. Or no, not Latte. What am I talking about? Uh, I don't know. Oh man. Cafe Ule. Ule? It's just like French or something. I have awakened. So yeah, after the second girl that we met, totally, I don't have any, I'm not expecting anything at all. But yeah, this, this girl looks, has like more of a sophisticated look, so, let's see what happens. Are you awake? Oh, no. That's not a bad thing, but that's just so weird to me, the senpai thing. So, she's a student of mine. Katana Urua Senpai, I was so worried. Oh, she's wearing like the school outfit too. Fufu. What's wrong? Your eyes are as white as saucers. Who are you? Yeah? Do you have amnesia? Do you, you don't remember anything about me either? How disappointing. I wanted to see your reaction when you saw that I had come to visit you. I've already pissed her off. It's looking forward to it. I'm... Oh. Yano? Ayano? Ayano, I'm going to say. I guess you don't remember, but the truth is, you're on the verge of dying. You happen to be in the path of a crazy... Wait, you happen to be in the path of a crazed murder. Okay. Then, and they stabbed you and beat you up real bad. This was more than one guy. It was horrible. I'm glad you're all right. I was worried you might not wake up. Everyone else in our club came to see you too. What? I don't know her. I don't even know what age she is. Some girls look older than they think, than they, they appear. Club? You were the captain of the soccer club. Would you believe it? I was the team's manager. <laughs> surprise, senpai. Hello, surprise. <laughs> what? It's like you become a different person altogether. It's kind of scary. I already knew you were a weirdo, though. Is your head okay? Wow, what is... Hmm... Kind of like how Yandarella was, I thought you could, like, be the kind of person you wanted to be, but no, that guy had an agenda. Uh, this character, you could... Wow. Was my guy, like, a jock? Fucking jocks. Oh, yeah, it's about time to practice to start, so I'll be taking my leave. You must be confused from the amnesia. Yeah, nah. People with amnesia tend to be confused. I'm sure you'll be back to normal before long. It's okay. No need to rush it. Because I'll be cheering you on here and out. As your manager? No, as your junior. Be nice to me. Just act like you've always been, even if you can't remember anything. No, please tell me how I've always acted, because this is concerning me. If you just do whatever you feel is right, I'm sure everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Oh, uh... Uh, if... If you want, feel free to drink the drink I brought you. Don't worry, it's not poisoned. I wouldn't do anything like that to you.
Even if it's not poison, you probably shouldn't even mention that at all. It makes you seem suspicious. She went home. She seems to be my junior. Apparently she'll be back tomorrow. I wish tomorrow would hurry up soon. I want to see her. She's the only visitor I've had so far. Alright. So, there's going to be something. Wait, what did he say? Oh, maybe they're mine? I don't know. She was sitting there. Someone in the window this time. I look damn fine. There's nothing so far. You have anything to say? Oh, he is asking me a question. Do I like her? She seems nice, but it depends on what you mean by like. Well, you're going to take it out of context anyway. What a coincidence. I do too. I think she's the cutest. She looks like that girl from Persona 4. <laughs> well, that's not what I meant to do. Well, it's not what I meant to do either. There's Chie, and there's the police girl. Oh, I can't remember her name. I like her too, but... Uh, the other girl with the red dress. Uh, starts with a Y. Damn, I, I'm surprised I don't remember. It's just Chie stands out to me. It's a cool game. I know there's Misuru. There's, uh... Ah, damn it. I guess, and, uh... The other girl I actually also liked. Oh, well. I'm gonna start talking about Persona. How you feeling? Have you calmed down a bit? Yeah, compared to how I was yesterday. Jesus Christ, what the f Yeah, mostly. What are these thoughts in my head? That's good. I was worried about last night. I, I couldn't sleep. So I'm kind of I'm kind of sleepy right now. So worried about you. If you're up for it, how about going outside for a bit? Get some fresh air. If you keep yourself hold up, hold up. Hold up in here. You only stay gloomy. How about it? You think it's a good idea? Yeah, it's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde-like thing going on right now. Yeah, I'll go. I won't tell you to go to hell. Jeez. It's a nice, clear day. I bet there are people watching this hoping that I would just keep being an asshole, but... I'm trying to go with this as... I would approach it but it's kind of hard after the game is pretty much you know it's basically showing me hey you're either a nice guy or an asshole pick one uh, it's obvious but for funsies maybe I should do the other one I don't know you've gotten everything almost like you've gone and left behind something left me behind or something have I I didn't mean to blame you or anything just please don't make that face Although, do you really not remember a single thing about what happened before you lost your memory? Nope. I see, so I guess you don't know who did it. Nope. I hope you're able to catch them. I'll even help you look for the culprit, for your sake. Although you don't remember anything about them, we don't really have much to go on. Didn't, I, I, I don't remember, but didn't earlier she said she knew, she saw what happened? I, maybe she didn't see him. She just knows what happened. Like, how do you know there were more than two guys? Because she said they attacked you or something. It, seem, uh, it seems to be the beginning of your new life. I say there are no do-overs in life. But here you are, about to start a clean slate. Yeah, just don't be asking me for money. When do you, uh... When do you think of it that way? Your amnesia doesn't seem so bad anymore. Do you still feel like you want to get your memories back? Ah, uh, I would like them back, actually. I'm curious, curious to see how it was. <laughs> you got any tapes? Oh, uh, you know what? Don't, don't. I don't want to know. If that's how you feel. I think that's the way to go. It's your, it's your own life after all, not mine. How about we take a school trip? Trip to the school, I mean. Uh, it's a bit of a walk from here, but maybe you'll remember something if you see the rooms. 
everyone always calls you a genius so even if you've lost your memory I'm sure you haven't lost your touch uh, I won't I want to see you play soccer again it's been a while yeah muscle memory should work out let's go fine we'll just take a look let's head over there we walked to school together I lost the ability to play soccer <laughs> to do anything else but I you know I I and mm, stayed by my side without ever looking angry or disappointed with amnesia we were like complete strangers to each other and yet she was completely devoted to me was she like this when I knew her though I'm sure she supported me back then as well I'm guessing Somewhere along the way, I've seemed to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. You didn't ask other people around the school how you were? Got no information? Didn't investigate? Nothing? Good. You ignorant cock. I know nothing. Oh, what's this? There are explicit photos inside one of the drawers. They all seem to be the same girl. I can't make up her, her face, but she seems cool. I wonder who took them. Now I'm kind of turned on. This is a dark turn. Alright. I guess that's it. No one at my door? Yeah, I should probably go to bed. I forget that the bed tells me if there's more stuff or not. No one's looking through the window? Probably not. No, that's another story. If you haven't seen the other parts, you don't know what I'm talking about. You should probably watch them. People only watch part ones and, and the final parts of Let's Plays. It's common knowledge, but... Eh. Hey! Sorry for being late. The club kept me busy. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't... Don't worry. I'll be able to make it work. Soccer isn't all there to life is anyway. Everyone has their prefer uh, preferences when it comes to what they like to do. Me, well, I like looking at you. Whenever I look at you, I get the strange feeling inside me. How do you like that? Did your heart skip a beat? At all? Wow. Yeah. Sure it did. Alright, so it's pretty obvious now that this guy is... This character's not good. Why are girl, why are guys so per, always so perverted? I'm asexual. <laughs> I guess I just don't get it. Forcing girls to do dirty things, uh, dirty things is bad. No, not just that. It makes you a bad person. Both people have to con uh, consent uh, for it to be okay. That's what I think. Why am I even talking about something like that? How embarrassing. Anyway. This is really already this late. I gotta get home. Sorry I wasn't able to stay very long. I have to go make dinner for for my younger brothers. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, what next game? There's some shoes in here, though. There's a thumbtack in one of them. A thumbtack? It won't come out. Seems to have been glued down. Someone really went out of their way for this prank. I wonder who did it. Whoever it was, they should see it on pissing me off. That's strange. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. we just been pranked. Okay. Amazing. Alright. Hey, it's my room again. Well, they just reused that, but... Today, uh, she told me that she wanted to come over to my house to play. So I brought her. The two of us were alone with the door closed, and I was somewhat nervous. She didn't say anything, neither did I. The mood was kind of, uh, you know, like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> and boy, did they save, like, the racy one for last. She wrapped her arms around me. You don't have to say it. I know. <laughs> you don't have to say it. Glad you really did notice. <laughs> you really did notice me, Senpai. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Being this close uh, calms me down. It smells so nice. Hey. You always, you always got the highest grades in the class, and everyone was always focused on you in the soccer club. You were so popular. I envied you. I wanted you. You were always so far ahead of me. I always thought you... Oh, so this is the girl that isn't popular, didn't stand out, but since he has amnesia, she just... Okay. Good plan. So happy. <laughs> um Yeah, dude, my dude is secretly an asshole. <sighs> All right. It's like no matter what I do, it's something crazy is going to happen. Do you really not remember why you lost your memory? Why you were so close to dying? Yeah, you told me, right? 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 I guess I don't remember anything. You were as resilient as a cockroach. <laughs> That's a... If only you had... What? She's crazy. Why didn't you just die without a fuss? I'm pretty sure I stabbed you right in the heart. With this very hand. Yes, I was sure of it. <laughs> There's no way I'd miss. I didn't just stab you either. I smashed your head up with a bat. Oh. Jeez. Oh man, I bet the pictures are going to come into play for this. I was really shocked, you know. I thought you were dead. And then I saw you at the hospital alive. As she said that, she removed something from her inside pocket. The moment I saw it, I tossed her away from me. <laughs> Ow! You're mean. Pushing a girl like that is terrible. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a spoon or a spork for a second. Why are you running? Are you afraid of me? Look how much your knees are trembling. I guess that means you still want to live. Even though you're nothing but absolute trash. <laughs> what did I do? You know, in, in a weird way, I feel like my character deserves it. <laughs> I guess you don't remember what you did to me. Yep. Shall I remind you what you've done? Of course I will. The endless amount of teasing and bullying of me every day. Wow. Jeez. The greatest student was who was popular with girls, and yet you were like that behind the scenes. Who would have thought? It was hard on me. Even though I've tried to tell everyone the truth, I probably would have ended up killing myself anyway. No one had to believe me. So I realized that the hellish existence would continue unless I dealt with it with my own two hands. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Okay, slowly. Jerk ass. Wow. Just can't stand it. I hate you so much. This time I'll definitely wring the life out of you. Wow. <laughs> Accept it. Like I would. Oh, God. But... Oh God. Mm. Wow, this is interesting. I might actually have to replay this. 
to see what happens. Defend myself. That's not what it said, but... Ugh, I lunged at her. Wow. I had aimed well. The knife flew out of her hand. The now disarmed uh, Anano was helpless against me. She panicked and tried to grab the knife. I pulled her back by the hair. And then... Wow. She's looking at me with a face that was pleading for me to stop. Oh, her body go limped. I released my grip on her. She wasn't dead yet, so I grabbed a nearby trophy of me made of metal. I slammed it onto her head. Jesus. Just about enough, I thought. She had stopped breathing a while back. I had to kill her. I, I killed her because she tried to kill me. There was nothing more than self-defense. I just... This is jamming music, but now that's the wrong time for this. How long has it passed since then? And this killer still hasn't been found. Who was it that killed her? No one knew but me. I had disposed of the body well. She probably hadn't been found by anyone. Today's the day I leave the hospital. I gathered my things and started walking down the hallway. When I saw it, I didn't believe it. In the room with the door slightly open, there was a face I had seen before. Lying in bed was... You know, she was covered in injuries. Most of her body was wrapped up in bandages. I'm sure I've given them... I'm sure I've given them to her. Vacant eyes shifted to look at me. I took a step back, startled. But there was no reaction from her. With a smile on her face, she asked. Who are you? Whoa. And now the roles switch. Yeah, no, that's bad end. Wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. Like, yeah, no, I didn't get the good... Wait, was there always good ends in the past ones? Huh. You know what? Maybe I do deserve it. She stabbed me. I just held my arms out and just let her stab me. She was grinding the knife deep into my heart. Damn. I felt incredible sharp pain as if my organs were being scooped out. I lost all my strength. Body came increasingly covered in red. The blood flowing out of me was so warm. It will never come back. All the things, all of the time you stole from me, none of it will come back. All that applies to you as well. You never will regain your life. Damn. You can't take back what has been... It is some rough shit that she's saying. But it... Ugh. I think it's just punishment. Die, please. Just like that. She left me there. Walking away, smiling. I simply lay there without any the energy to move. Had I been deceived by her? She had it all planned out, just for the sake of revenge. She probably had no intention of forgiving me from the very start. But boy, can she act. I couldn't move at all anymore. Did she hate me that much? Well, can you blame her? I must have been a real jerk before losing my memory. I was the kind of guy that was so detestable as to drive someone to murder. But I didn't know about any of that. I couldn't remember anything. My vision had gone hazy. There probably wasn't a point in living anymore. I wouldn't be able to fix what I had caused. Her smiling face came to mind. I think I may have loved her. If we had met under normal circumstances, 
Maybe we would have been able to be together, go on dates, fall in love, laugh together. But that definitely wasn't going to happen now. I fucked it up. I'm sure I've already decided by the time I woke up. A single tear ran down my cheek. I hear sirens. You're in Silent Hill, our uh, unattainable love. Alright, so now I should be able to show the credits for realsies. Alright, so. Very interesting game. I assumed that all three stories were going to be like the first one. You were going to meet some girl that was going to just, I don't know, like Yanderella was. You were going to fight over some girls, but... Um, yeah, a lot of life lessons in this, and you know the second one took me by surprise, and this one definitely took me by surprise because it, it, it lets you know about stuff that I personally have problems with a lot because it involves bullying, and it's it gets to a point where there are fucking bullies at your school that don't give a fuck about the other person and their feelings, and you know, because because I've been bullied in in, in school. A lot younger until to the point where I didn't give a fuck and I didn't let that shit bother me um, didn't care what people thought about me and I gained respect through that meeting the friends I do, do have you know because they respected how much I didn't care what other people thought and was able to be myself um, but the thing is people don't understand is that if you bully someone enough they can potentially do something like this really messes people psychologically. So, you know, I mean, if you're being bullied, just, you know, you, you have to, you pretty much have to either talk to people about it and, uh, you know, you, you, sometimes you just, you got to ignore it pretty much like that's how I got through it you know definitely don't condone killing the person that's stupid but you guys know what I mean but yeah definitely some life lessons in this game definitely a different turn for what I thought this game was gonna be this is a really interesting game had really cool stories the the type of writing in these games are like TV show quality you know for like a, a interesting show like uh, uh, not Twilight Zone but like shows that have stories in them like two or three stories each episode like that would be a cool story to show but hope you guys got what I was trying to say you know it's it's real serious this may be a game this may be fiction but this shit can happen in real life so other than that is really cool great game other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day, and, uh, and uh, if you have any other games like this, uh, feel free to suggest them, and uh, that's all I really have to say, but uh, I'll say this, though. If you need somebody to talk to about certain experiences that you've gone through or as far as like bullying, stuff like that, feel free to message me on YouTube about it, and I can talk to you about it. I'm dead serious, so. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.